Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a QA. and a I asked you guys over on Instagram to ask me some questions. I feel like it's been a while since I did like a Q&A. We just got personal. We just got into all the things. So yeah, I asked you guys to ask me some questions. I also put it here on YouTube on my community tab. So hopefully you guys seen that and you were able to participate. I usually don't put things like that on my community tab. So that's why it's very important to follow me on Instagram if you want to participate in these types of videos. I also wanted to make this video real casual, not too serious. So we're going to be doing it in the car. Back in the day, I used to do these like drive with me videos when we would like just run my errands, stop to get a Starbucks, a little drinky drink and you know, just chit chat, listen to music. So I'm going to kind of do the video like that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. We're going to be getting into these questions. I didn't really i didn't really look at the questions so i'm gonna be just as surprised as you guys are well y'all not gonna be surprised because y'all the ones that asked them but yeah first stop is gonna be duncan to get a little drinky drink and we're gonna get into it just saying i'm done playing the moment i stop having fun with it i'll be done with it i'll do the party of the century see i was on the way started from the bottom now i'm straight we go to war with whoever whoever back home smoking legal Shout out my label, that's me. Bitch, y'all, we are here at Dunkin'. I got an order that I like to get from Dunkin', and I have a screenshot in my phone so I can get it every time the right way. I usually get an extra shot of espresso, but it's late, so we ain't gonna get that. Would you like the size? What can I get first? Hello, can I get a medium iced coffee with three caramel swirls, two creams, and cold foam on the top? child let me tell you something i just first of all shout out to god i had a whole tripod in my back seat so yeah but i just had to reverse my car because the lighting was so bad the other way but we're giving here's my drinky drink i hope it's good <clears throat> ten out of ten Hopefully the audio isn't bad. I do have the air on. I'ma just I'ma just turn it off. I'ma just turn the whole car off. This car is make a lot of noise and I don't want it to be, you know, like too much going on in the background. So let's just get this party started. The someone said, why don't you do clothing hauls anymore? Honestly, I love clothes. I love dressing up. I love looking pretty. I love putting that shit on. But Clothing house, clothing house is just not my thing. It's a lot of work, girl. I be sweating, I be tired, exhausted. Um, I may do them here and there, like when the seasons change. Like I've been accumulating a lot of fall clothing pieces, so I do want to show y'all. But as far as like doing them like on a weekly basis, no, ma'am, it's not my thing. I'm not into it. And y'all, I wear really simple clothes, like. I like to accessorize, but for the most part, my clothing is very simple, and I've been wearing the same stuff over and over and over again. How do you maintain your relationship after being together for a while? I feel like you and that person just really have to have an understanding. You have to know that person. That person has to know you. Every day is not going to be a good day. Sometimes you may not want to talk. You know, sometimes you may not want to be you make sometimes you may not be in the best mood but if that person know you and you know that person then y'all know it's no hard feelings you know you got to do things to keep the relationship fresh you gotta take a trip or plan a movie night or just do things to keep the relationship fresh make sure y'all are talking and communicating y'all have a clear understanding because things change over years me and my boyfriend been together for a very long time and we got together when we were both very young you know what i mean and his mindset has changed my mindset has changed so it's good to tap in every once in a while to just make sure y'all still on the same page with things everything's still going good copacetic because you won't know until you ask because a lot of people not just going to be like hey i'm not feeling you no more you know so definitely make sure you just check in with your person make sure things still going how it should be going yeah y'all can even do date night at the house you know especially if y'all have been together for a long time and y'all are maybe married or y'all have had children because you know 
those are two huge things that can alter a relationship like no other. So you got to keep it fresh. You got to keep it fun. You got to communicate. Somebody asks, why don't I travel as much with my boyfriend? He works a job, you guys. He works like a regular job. He doesn't have as much freedom as me. He don't, um, I don't know, PTO, paid time off. Yeah, he, like, you don't get that much PTO on these jobs. He recently had his vacation time or whatever. We went to Mexico. Like, I don't know what y'all expect. I don't know if y'all want me to, uh, I don't know. Y'all want him to be like a stay-at-home boyfriend? I don't know, like, I don't know what y'all want. The man works a job. He can only, he, he don't get that much time off. You know what I mean? Whew. What are your five-year goals, girl? To be alive. I honestly, like, y'all, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Just to be alive. Uh, I would just be happy to be alive and to have a roof over my head. I don't know. Five years, I will be, I'm going to be 29 this year. So, I'll be, do I count? Let's just count this year. 29. 30, 31, 32, 33. I'll be 33. What do I want to do by the time I'm 33? I don't know. It, that Y'all may think that's a bad thing, but y'all, I really do not know. Like, I don't know. I don't know, girl. Okay. What advice would you give a girl in her early 20s? Don't take nothing too serious, especially these men. I regret being in a relationship in my early 20s, like a serious relationship. I definitely feel like you should just use that time to get to know yourself and to date around, explore, see what's out here. Because those are times you'll never get back. Like, girl, live your life. Live your life. Spend your money. You know, like your early 20s. I feel like your early 20s are made for fuck ups. And I personally feel like I ain't really fuck up that much in my early 20s. I, I'm, I'm the type of person, I play everything really, really safe. And that's probably because I really don't have a fallback plan. I'm, I'm always my own fallback plan. So I always just have to play everything very, very safe. But if I could go back, I would be wilding the fuck out in my early 20s. Like, I had a good time. A couple key keys here and there, but live your life because when you get older you can still wild out you can still have a good time people be looking at you like come on now. i don't have a problem with it live your life turn up have a good time i love that for anybody at any age but especially in your early 20s live your life take trips another thing i wish i would have did more in my early 20s was like spend my money on luxury items i'm really into luxury items and it's just like, things are so expensive now. Like, if I would have bought that bag when I was 20 years old, it would have been way cheaper and I would have still had it. Definitely, if it's something you want to buy yourself, designer, luxury, whatever, make the purchase, girl. Make the purchase. I'm gonna ask, how am I doing? Thank you for asking, girl. I'm doing good. I feel like I'm living my best life. I'm enjoying my life. I'm happy. I'm happy to be alive. I feel blessed. My mental is good. I can't complain. There's nothing I complain can complain about right now. I'm I'm good. I'm happy. I'm blessed. I'm good. My birthday coming up. I'm about to be 29. Like, baby, life's good right now. Life, life is good. I have nothing to complain about. My back be hurting sometimes, but I mean, you know, I take that. I want to ask, am I still getting braces? So if y'all remember, like in April, I went for a braces consultation. Um, and if you've been here for a while, I went, I had Invisalign and I, ugh, I've done so much, y'all. I've done so much. Okay, so the, the the original plan was to get veneers. That was my original plan. When I went for my consultation in Miami, 
they informed me that baby you need to you need to push your teeth back a little bit my teeth they come out of my mouth they kind of like protrude out of my mouth so they suggested i do invisalign to like push the teeth back some so they wouldn't have to shave the teeth they wouldn't have to do all these things and i can just get veneers i was doing good on my invisalign until i moved to atlanta girl i moved to atlanta i was going out to eat every day i was just living my life and invisalign fucking hurts it hurts so bad it was just i think and and i feel like everybody's pain tolerant pain i feel like everyone's pain is different when it comes to invisalign because it just depends on what your teeth needs. Some people have teeth that's like stacked up on top of each other. So that may hurt really bad. My problem was my teeth protruded out of my mouth. So my Invisalign trays were made to push my teeth back. So it would feel like my teeth were going to fall out of my mouth. It hurt so bad. Every Sunday when I would have to change my trays, I would just want to like die. Eventually I just stopped wearing them. I wasted so much money, but it is what it is. So recently in April, I went to a consultation to see about braces. I've never wanted braces. I still don't want braces, but I'm like, okay, we got to do something because I do want my teeth to be, I, I want a perfect smile. Um, and I feel like I deserve a perfect smile, but I just do not want braces. Like I don't want braces. I do not want braces. I'm about to be 29 years old. And I'm not saying it's nothing wrong with adults having braces. But personally for me, it's a no. I do not want braces. Obviously, I'm not getting Invisalign again because I'm not disciplined enough. So now I'm back to like the veneer um thing. So I've been looking up a few doctors to try to figure out what i'm going to do um what procedures i need to have what needs to be done <sighs> it's just so stressful and i just i started and then i stopped because it's just so annoying like i just wish that this could just be a quick process so i don't know what i'm going to get but i know it's not going to be invisalign and i know it's not going to be braces somebody asked what motivates me and she said it could be anything so first thing came to my head was money i am a very money motivated person i'm not like i was gonna say i'm not all about the money but i am all about the benjamins baby <laughs> like I, I i work hard because i know well i'm not all about the money I'm joking. I'm not all about the money, but I do feel like I put forth so much effort because you need money to live. And I never want to go back to living a life I lived before. I love my life now and I only want it to get better. So I work hard so I can earn money and I can continue to live the life I want and the life I feel like I deserve. I That's what motivates me, girl. And I, I don't want to be... I'm not sure how this may come off to people, but I really, I don't want to just be mediocre. Like, there's a lot of people doing YouTube. It's a lot of rappers in this world. It's a lot of um, nail techs, lash artists. It's a lot of people doing things in this world. I don't want to just be another YouTuber. I want to be... I want to be one of the ones. Do you miss where you used to live? No. Um, I miss the Chinese food. I, I really miss the Chinese food. And I miss Bono's Barbecue. And this sushi place I used to go to. But other than that, no. I love Atlanta. I got a lot of questions asking. Is Atlanta my forever home? I do believe Atlanta is my forever home. I tell you that all the time. I love Atlanta. Like, what is it not to love? I love it here. I love it here. I do, however, like, I want to make enough money so I can have me a little studio apartment in another state or another city so I can just go back and forth. Like, that's my dream life. My dream life is to have me a little studio apartment for six months in New York and then six months in L.A. Like, that's my dream life. So, we'll see. Someone asked me how consistent was I at the beginning of starting my YouTube channel and y'all I was super consistent. I used to post like every day. I'm not even lying. The content wasn't the best. 
but every day I would wake up and I would just think of something to do some type of video to do and I would just do it and I used to post it it's like when I first started YouTube I wasn't thinking too deep in it I didn't know about quality content and you know picture perfect thumbnails and all of that I just posted the content I posted the content I posted the videos every day or every other day or whenever I used to do it and eventually you know I grew a lot of people ask about YouTube and starting and vlogging and all of those things don't think too deep in it just do it just do it just do it you don't need nobody standing over your shoulder telling you to do it to do it to do it just do it if this is something you want to do do it you can't do it for the money you can't do it because you think you finna be famous you got to do this because you love to create content and you know there's an audience out there that you would love you and you would love them and y'all would buy that's it that's all this is something you have to do because you genuinely love it you girl everything else to come the subscribers will come the money will come the sponsorships will come all that will come once you just put yourself out there and do it mm. this coffee was so good job all right what do you hope to accomplish before the end of the year content or personal all year i've had a financial goal of an amount that i want to make in one month and i haven't reached it yet i've gotten close but i have not reached it yet so we got october november and december we have three months so i have three more times to try so hopefully hopefully prayerfully i get there um it's just something i set for myself and something i wanted to challenge myself to do so i'll let y'all know if we get there um i'm trying to think is there anything else i haven't been doing much goal setting honestly i just been living girl i, I honestly just been taking it day by day i honestly just been taking life day by day and let whatever happens happens but that is a goal that i really would like to accomplish and of course hitting 100k but i feel like i'm so close at this point to where i know like i kind of feel like it's going i'm it's going to happen so we're just waiting to see when because by the time y'all watch this video i should be at least at like ninety-eight thousand subscribers because right now i'm at ninety-seven thousand nine hundred and fifty. So I just need 50 more subscribers to be at 98,000. So yeah, I'll have that by the time y'all see this video. Y'all should see this video on Sunday and today is Friday. So we'll see how to deal with outgrowing friends. Um, that was hard for me because I was one of those people to feel like if we locked in, ain't no switching up, but things happen. People change, people grow, people you know, things happen in life. I know for me, I've grown. And some of the friends I used to have, I know that we just wouldn't vibe anymore because my vibe is different. Their vibe probably is different. And it just, it just wouldn't work. You know what I mean? So, you just move on, you know. Um, I've never, what I can say is I've never had a conversation with a friend like, hey girl, I feel like this ain't working no more we should just go our separate ways it kind of just happens which is okay we'll outgrow people you you definitely will outgrow people and it takes a lot of work um it takes a lot of work to really keep friendships intact you know what i mean okay what are your top three fall fragrances okay so angel share I've been loving Angel Share Lady. Angel Share Lately. So Angel Share, Herba Pura, and one more. What would I pick? What would I pick? What would I pick? Let's do Delina. Even though Delina isn't like a fall scent, it's just I always say Delina is a pretty girl fragrance. So 
if I had to pick three for this upcoming fall and winter, those are the three I would pick. But an honorable mention is Burberry Goddess. Burberry Goddess smells really, really good. And also, um, there was one more I just had on the tip of my tongue. I forgot. Maybe it'll come back to me. Someone asked, did you lose a lot of friends after you moved? I know a lot of people... But I don't have a lot of friends, especially when I was in Jacksonville. But I didn't lose a lot of friends, but I did lose a friendship that I really cared deeply about. Um, I never seen us not being friends. You know, I never, like, put that in the cards. Like, it was never... Uh, um, it was never a... A thought of mine like I never thought that we wouldn't be friends but when I moved here child it just kind of diminished the friendship and you know it's been a couple years now so it is what it is but yeah I definitely did not see that coming at all but yeah someone asks do YouTube pay you more or sponsorships um um I would just say how YouTube pays because you get paid once monthly and it's like a lump sum of money I would say YouTube but it's different for everybody some people may get way more money from sponsorships but me personally I've told you guys this before I don't be doing my invoices so yeah but with YouTube definitely um I definitely get the lump sum of money from YouTube every month. Someone said Dion is so chill. Let me just tell y'all this. Y'all don't know that man. <laughs> y'all do not know that man. Y'all don't know that man. Dion is like somebody you've never met before. He's very outspoken. He's not shy. He's chill, but he ain't that type of chill y'all think he is. Y'all don't know him. Any advice for someone who struggles with consistency with content creation? You don't want it bad enough. You told me to address you uh, directly. Official Ebony Eyes, you don't want it bad enough because if it was something you wanted, then you would do it. You know what I mean? You just gotta want it bad enough. You gotta, you gotta make yourself an end goal. So set yourself some goals and keep going till you reach those goals and once you start reaching those goals that's going to be your motivation to keep going but you got to start you got to stay consistent and you got to do it are you asking me am i getting another dog no babe i'm not getting another dog all right we gotta wrap this up let's see um because i'm getting hot i'm sitting here with the car in the car with no ac um let's say What's one thing you wish more people knew or understood about you? Um, I've always, since a young child, I've been misunderstood. Like, I feel like, I don't, I don't know why. I don't, but I've always been like that since a young child. I've been very misunderstood. I'm not, and I don't know why, but I wish people knew how good of a person I am. Like, I think, like, the ones who's close to me, they know that. But I feel like a lot of times, like, just in passing, somebody may hear something about you or something may blah, 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 blah. I'm such a good person with a good heart, and I care so much about people. And I just want everybody to know that. I just want everybody to know that. I just, I just wish everybody knew that. One thing I've learned from being, like, on the internet is you it's the internet like it's so many people versus you you cannot as much as you want and as much as you try everybody not gonna like you everybody not gonna believe you everybody's not gonna think you're a good person like and you have to be okay with that you have to find peace within yourself and know who you are within yourself because people will have you questioning who you are because just whatever like it's it's crazy but i've realized that i've come to grips with that i've come to terms with that i know who i am i know i'm a good person i i know my morals and, and the things i live by so nobody can nobody can try to play me it doesn't bother me when people think 
negative things about me because I know who I am. You know what I mean? And half these people will never actually have a real interaction with me anyway. So who really cares? I am really a recovering people pleaser. I'm still kind of in recovery. Sometimes I relapse, but yeah, I'm, I'm a recovering people pleaser. What's one thing you like about being an influencer and one thing you dislike about being an influencer? One thing I like about being an influencer is to be able to influence and I'm not talking about like clothes and shoes and makeup and perfume. Obviously, I'm a girl. I'm a girly girl. Love those things. And I, I want y'all to have those things as well. However, it's more deeper than me. I love when I can get on here and I can talk about like God and I can just talk about like um, motivating things. And I influence y'all to want to do good things and to want to do good and to... You know, whatever it may be. You know how, like, I'll get on my vlogs and have my talks or, you know, whatever the case may be. I love that I can share those moments with y'all. And I love that y'all receive that. And it motivates y'all to want to get on y'all shit or want to do better or journal or go to therapy. Because I remember when I first started going to therapy, so many of y'all told me y'all started going to therapy because I was going to therapy. And that's what the fuck I'm talking about. That's the type of influential things I want to do. Because it's so many people that feel like they don't need therapy. And I'm just like, try it out. You know what I mean? Try it out. Just see it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. Personally, for me, therapy was really hard at first. I've been going to therapy. I started first going to therapy when I was in fourth grade. And then as an adult, I went back myself. Therapy was very hard because I felt like it was super triggering. Because most times in therapy, you're going to talk about things that you've even you've put down within yourself. Threw away the key, locked it, forgot about. So bringing those things back up can be super triggering and just really make you feel icky. But you don't have to get that deep in therapy. You don't have to talk about things you don't want to talk about in therapy. You bring up what you want to talk about. You talk about what you want to talk about. And that's how you do that. And one thing I dislike, I, I, I hate um, the misconception of people. Um, and that's really, yeah, that's one thing I dislike. I hate how people think they know you from like a video it's like girl you have no idea <laughs> you you have no idea somebody asked about maintaining long distance friendships and that's something i can talk about because i feel like when i first moved here me and my best friend the road was really rocky and that's just because we needed that clear line of communication and we needed to know that we were still each other's person you know what i mean um we just we just we just had to and it took a few times like we would talk about a situation we would say how we felt we did everything and then go back to feeling like rocky again but now i feel like we've 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 understood because me and my best friend we was the type to talk every day like she would call me on the way home or when she's picking her son up or whatever the case may be we would talk like every day and obviously you know that kind of changed and we just had to get used to being adults and living apart and i feel like we don't talk every day it, it might we might go a week or maybe two weeks without talking but i feel like we know where we stand at in each other's lives so nothing's questioned I don't, if she get a, a new friend or if I get a new friend, we ain't throwing slick shots at each other. You know what I mean? Like, I know that's my best friend to the day I die. And she know I'm her best friend to the day she die. Like, we locked in. Ain't no switching up. Like, that's my best friend and nothing can change that. More than just like, like, yeah, we've been best friends since we were in sixth grade, but... You can meet somebody tomorrow and, and y'all can become best friends. It doesn't have to be like this deep, deep thing. But I think with me and her, it's just that we we really love each other. You know, like she know my family. I know her family. We've been through so much together. And I feel like we've really fought for this relationship to work. A lot of people feel like friendships, Um, you shouldn't have to fight for a friendship you shouldn't bicker with your friends or whatever but at the end of the day a friendship is still a relationship you know like y'all may not disagree on everything y'all may not 
get along all the time. Like, think, like that's just how it is. But I respect her so much and she respect me so much. We're at the point where we don't even argue. We don't even have arguments. You know what I mean? Because I respect you so much. I'm not about to raise my voice at you and yell at you and scream at you and say things I really don't mean. Because that's going to hurt me. Because I love you so much. You know what I mean? So, I feel like maintaining like a long distance with friendship definitely takes time. It takes reinsurance. It takes... It, it, it takes work. Somebody said, do I get weirded out when supporters approach me? The answer is no. I don't get weirded out. I do get a little shy. Um, but I don't get weirded out. And I'm honestly just getting used to it because nine times out of ten, if I step out the door, if I go to Target, go to H&M Home Goods, I'm going to run into somebody. So it's not it's not how it used to be for me. I used to be super like oh, about it, but I've realized this is my life. It's going to happen. So yeah. But no, I don't get weirded out. It, I actually prefer you to say something and not be weird. Because some people, they won't say nothing. They'll secretly record you and do all this weird shit. And it's just like, for what? Like, what are we doing this for, bro? Somebody asked, am I happy in my relationship? And the answer is yes. Currently, I am. What y'all need to... I don't know if y'all have ever been in, like, long-term relationships but me and Dion have been together for a long time. And when you're together, when you're in a relationship with a person for a long time, it's seasons in that relationship. And if you want to be with a person, just like I explained about my best friend, it takes work. Like, it takes work. It takes commitment. It takes wanting to be with that person. You know what I mean? So, I won't say that I've always been happy because... I've never been to the point where I'm like, I don't, you know, fuck this shit, I'm leaving. Because if that was it, then fuck this shit, I'll leave. But I know that I want to be in this relationship and he wants to be in this relationship. So we both put forth effort to make it work. But every day ain't rainbows and butterflies, babes. I don't know what y'all think this is, but it. It's not always happy. It's not always good, you know? But I'm not... I'm, I I don't share that part of my life on the internet, and I never will. However, just know, any relationship, Sierra and whatever her husband name is, they're like everybody's couple goals. Trust and believe. It's not always good. Relationships have seasons, things happen, but you have to choose that person every day. Even when you mad, you got to choose me. It, when you sad, you got to choose me. Because when I'm mad, I'm going to choose you. When I'm sad and you done pissed me off and everything going on, I'm going to choose you. So, relationships is about no matter what you're going through, no matter how you feeling, waking up and choosing your person every day. Yeah, I got to turn it on. It's hot. Someone asks, um, what I consider like meeting new friends and how do I meet new friends? Recently, I've been meeting a lot of people on the internet, um, other content creators and vloggers and things like that. I feel like, um, for me, since I am on the internet, it's kind of the easiest way to meet people. You know, that's, it just is what it is. Um, I don't know. I think, I think I need to focus because I, I have I have a few people um I have a few people in my circle right now so before I go out meeting new people I need to kind of like try to nourish and water what I got going on now like if I meet a new person and we click and it happens then you know obviously that's what it is but yeah I think I need to just focus on um nourishing and watering and feeding into the people I have in my circle right now. Somebody asks, do I still communicate with the subscriber I went on vacation with? I believe she's talking about Kendall. This happened probably like almost two years ago. I, I think I was doing a Q&A and she wrote me and was like, Will we go on, would you go on a vacation with a subscriber or whatever? And we just went from there, but her name is Kendall. We still follow each other on Instagram. Or whatever. We don't really like text or talk on the phone that much, but we still got each other on the internet and that 
was one of my best trips. Kendall girl, if you watching this, we had a ball. We had so much fun. Like, and I didn't know this girl from a can of paint. I knew nothing. I still can't believe I did that, but I'm so glad I did that because it was so much fun. We had we had a time. We we had a great time. Someone asked me why haven't I attended New York Fashion Week? And I just I'm not a fashion girl. I don't like not only am I like not, not a fashion girl, I just don't feel like that's my space right now. Maybe next year I'll feel more um compelled to go, but it just I don't know. Like I love watching the girls go. I love I be on baby when New York Fashion Week happens, I be on everybody's stories. I wanna see the outfits, I wanna see this, I wanna see that, but I don't know. I just I don't see that for me. Maybe next year, I don't know. You I don't know, but and cause I feel like for New York Fashion Week, if you gonna go, then you gotta put that shit on. And I really I don't know what the fuck I would what would I wear? Like, what would I wear? Because I'm not going unless I'm going. I just didn't feel like that was my space. You know what I mean? That's for the... I feel like that's for the people that's really into fashion. That really... But I feel like more so now, New York Fashion Week is really becoming like an influencer meetup. You get to meet your influencers you follow on the internet. Y'all link up. Have a good time. Of course, dress nice. But I don't know. I don't know. It is Atlanta everything you expected or underwhelming? To be completely honest, I didn't expect anything. You know, I, 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 Atlanta, just like anything else, is what you make it. I love the life I have created for myself here. So, everything's going good. You know, Atlanta, it's so many different things going here. You can move here and want to be a bottle girl or want to be a stripper or want to be on the scene with the rappers and the, um the bdbs if you know if you know you know bdb if you know you know but that's not my space you know i just came here to have more to explore more to see more and just to expand myself to things so i love atlanta i've told y'all this i love atlanta I have to hurry up because my camera is going dead and I did not bring an extra battery. But the last question a lot of people ask was about like, who's my favorite YouTubers? Blah, 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 blah. I love watching YouTube. I watch YouTube every day, all day. So I have a lot of people that I love watching. I love Gina Janine, Ian Mylan, Life with Dame Dash, I Am Shelly, and Adosa Kia, Face Over Matter, Platinum D, Aaliyah Face, Becca Watson, Ira Amuni, Brittany Vaughn, Kendall Ray, Miss Creative Diva, Miss Jamima, Stephanie Rose, Minnie Wee, Jasmine Ardell, Brooke Kennedy, Britton Snow, Naturally Sunny, and so many more people, y'all. I absolutely love watching YouTube, but I'll have all those people down below in the description box, plus more if y'all looking for new people to watch. I'm back to the house, y'all. My camera went dead, so I guess this is the end of the video. Whew, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.